Some patients with congenital myopathy have a clear family history, and it's been known for some time that these patients had a genetic disorder. But many others had no family history and were in fact the first member of their family to ever have a muscle weakness. But using the tools of molecular genetics and the fruits of the Human Genome Project, we and our colleagues around the world have been able to identify the genes for many forms of congenital myopathy over the last 15 years or so. And this has made an enormous impact on the diagnosis and management uh, for families who have a member with congenital myopathy. For example, we now are able to help patients understand what their future prognosis is likely to be. We can identify potential carriers or families at risk to have children with congenital myopathy. For those that are interested, they can take advantage of prenatal diagnosis and potentially avoid the birth of an affected child. And by knowing the various mutations and genes, we hope that we can eventually develop therapies that will be tailored to each person's specific disease and treat and hopefully someday cure these diseases.